consider the linear programming problem maximize set which is equals to 9x plus 6y subject to the constraints x plus y greater than or equals to 4 x minus y greater than or equals to 1 y less than or equals to 3 x less than or equals to 4 and uh, lastly x and y greater than or equals to 0 and the graph representing uh, those above constraints is uh, shown on the right there in this video i'm going to shed the feasible region and find the optimal solution so we have uh, that linear programming problem and uh, the graph has already been uh, plotted there so to find the feasible region we know that the feasible region is the region which satisfies all the constraints so what i can do is i can start uh, by looking at uh, the regions which are on the right there this region this region or this region or this region i'll just check if they satisfy all the constraints so i'll start by the first one here this region here and uh, what i'll do is i'll take a point in this region so for example i take the point of one one there and check if that uh, region satisfies all the constraints so what i'll be doing is i'll be using the red dot there the one one to check if it satisfies all the constraints so if you look at the first constraint there the x plus y greater than or equals to four i'm looking at the point one one we are saying x equals to one y equals to one when you say x plus y we get a two is two greater than or equals to four it's not so in this case it is violated uh, this uh, constraint there so when it has uh, violated this constraint it cannot be the feasible region because i'm saying the feasible region has to satisfy all the constraints so there's no need to check for the other ones because it has already excluded it from the feasible region so i can go on and check uh, this region here to check if it satisfies all the constraints so i'll take a point in that region that i've shaded so i'll take this point here that's uh, the point 3.5 1.5 and then go on and check if it satisfies all the constraints so we start with the first one there x plus y greater than or equals to 4 we are saying on the part that i have indicated there we are having an x 3.5 and the y 3.5 so 3.5 plus 1.5 gives us a 5 which is greater than or equals to 4 so this constraint is satisfied i now go on and uh, check the next constraint there of the x minus y greater than or equals to 1 we are looking at the point x 3.5 y 1.5 so we have 3.5 minus 1.5 which gives us a 2 a 2 which is greater than or equals to 1 so it satisfies this constraint here i move on to the next one this constraint y is less than or equals to 3 on the point that i indicated there with the red dot we are having the y is 1.5 1.5 is less than 3 so it is satisfying that constraint i move on to the next one on the y less than or equals to 4 on the point that i indicated on the graph there we are saying that our x is 3.5 3.5 is less than 4 so it satisfies that constraint and then i will now move on to the last one and the non-negativity constraint there x y greater than or equals to 0 we are saying our x is 3.5 our y is 1.5 they are greater than or equals to zero so they satisfy that constraint so what you are having there is points in that region they satisfy all the constraints so that will be our feasible region so i'll go on and shade it there that's the feasible region and the next step now to find the optimal solution we have to identify the corner points and then after identifying the corner points we go on and evaluate the objective function at the corner points of the feasible region so the corner points there i'll label them the a the second one the b then the c so those are the corner points of the feasible region and then we go on and evaluate this objective function at those corner points so what I, so what i'll do is i'll draw a table and then write the point we are having point a point b point c and uh, write down the x value and the y value and then the value of the objective function set so at point a there we are saying that uh, x is 2.5 and y is 1.5 substitute these values of x and y into the objective function here and then we'll have 9 times 2.5 plus 6 times 1.5 which gives us 21.5
I now go on and evaluate the objective function at the point B. So at the point B, what we are having there is uh, the value of the x is a 4, and the value of the y is a 0. Then we evaluate the objective function at these points. So we'll be saying z is equal to 9 times 4 plus 0 times 6, and that will give us a 36. I will now go on to the next one, the point C there. At the point C, we are having that our x is equal to a 4 and the y is equal to 3. Then go on and evaluate the objective function at this point for 3. So we are saying our z there will be 9 times 4 plus 6 times 3, which will give us a 54. But the problem that we are having is a maximization problem here. So we look for the largest value of z. The largest value of z that we are having is a 54. So our optimal solution will be the one at the point C there. So I can go on and write that the optimal solution is z is equals to 54, which occurs when x equals to 4 and y is equals to 3.